Hi, I'm Dr. Mike. And I'm Mike. And, and this, this is, is NF, NF Geeks. Geeks. All right, Mike, thank you very much for coming on. My pleasure. Welcome. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. This is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm looking forward to it. Been yeah. looking forward to it as well. I know. Time. It's been, we've been waiting for a long time, and yeah. now we're here. It's happening. It is. Um, all right, so Mike. Mike is a, an ISTP. And that's good. We've only had one other ISTP on. Really? Yes. So the rare and elusive ISTP. Uh, yes. Um, and in fact, the other ISTP we had on was um, through a, a Google Hangout there in California. Oh, no way. So you're the first live wow. ISTP in, okay. in, in, this present, in my presence here. So that's great. And, so and NF Geeks exclusive. Yes, very right, much right. so. All right. So let me, um, I'm going to talk about your type, and I just want you to sort of kind of just react and respond to... Uh, <laughs> How this impacts your life, you know. Sure, I'm give sure. you some ideas here and whatever. Yep. All right, so um, so let's talk about ISTP. There's a lot of interesting things about ISTP. Um, one of them is uh, sort of a general state of being dispassionate, um, in a you know, in a positive way, sure. you know, sort of being in a a place where where you know nothing ever gets them that riled up, you know, sort of cool and calm and collected under pressure or otherwise. So how does that uh, connect to your life? Well, I, I mean, I, the the key statement in that sentence was probably under pressure. Mm -hmm. I am not always cool, calm, and collected, but when there's a situation where I need to react immediately, I would say that that is definitely the case. When there's a pressure situation, I usually, I can I can reason out and weed out what needs to be done, what can wait, that, that sort of thing. So yeah, I would say that's definitely true. Um, is there anything in your life in terms of your careers or your, um, you know, your... Um, uh, hobbies or things that you've done where this sort of shows up? Yeah, yeah. well, we, we've mentioned the, uh, the musical career. Mm -hmm. um, I, it wasn't really a career, it was just a, an extended kind of glorified hobby for a while there, you know. But, um, <laughs> just like NF Geeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah I, I understand mean, that. Yeah, so um, in those situations where, you know, um, I, can, I can remember specific instances where I was driving in the snow, for example, we, we just discussed this, and yes. um, you know, I trusted myself. I didn't trust others. I needed to react, you know, uh, to the road. It was me and the road, and that was it. And I zoned everything out and focused on what I needed to do. I remember getting our van and trailer, which was in total about a 40-foot rig at one point. All my best friends were sleeping behind me. <laughs> I, I was in, uh, we were doing uh, one of the passes in Colorado because you have to cross the Rocky Mountains to get to the West Coast. Uh, pretty much straight through from, <laughs> from uh, <laughs> the top to bottom through the country. And um, bad snowstorm, we hit a bad bad front, just got us head on, and uh, there was a, I, I got the van dead sideways, I remained cool and calm, and mm -hmm. just kept muscling through, and everyone else in the back was, you know, <laughs> 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 guys, we, we got it. I remember the song, I was listening to, uh, to um, Colorblind by the Counting Crows at that very moment in time. I'll never forget that, when uh, the van was completely sideways, <laughs> and I kept it, I kept, kept it pointed in the right direction, you know, so, yeah. Oh wow, that's a great example yeah. that fits this perfectly. Okay. Um, all right. Now, sometimes people though um, interpret that as the same um, attribute as being a weakness, meaning sort of being apathetic in a in a certain way, um, sort of not necessarily caring which way something goes or caring about you know what's necessarily happening in a situation, you know, in a way that you, you just sort of like shrugging your shoulders and just going eh, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, does that um, come up, or do you have any connection yeah, to that idea? Um, once in a while, um, it's it's not a you know a, the the term my uh, bringing up a highway again my way or the highway. It does it's not necessarily that. It's to me, it's what's the right choice in that moment. Maybe for me, but ultimately, it's the I feel like the choice I'm making or the being you know the, the pressure cooker that I'm in. I'm making the right decision, and uh, as far as apathy goes. I can see how one would perceive it as apathy, but oh, this is interesting, yeah. Go um, ahead. But it, it, you know, it's the decision that needs to be made, and that's and that's that's what I that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, that was excellent. 
Um, another thing um, that connects to your type is, um, you know, and, and this is interesting because you're into motorcycles, is um, operating and working with machinery mm -hmm. um, in terms of understanding how they how they work and how they're supposed to work if you're using them and um, how they work together, put together. Um, so first of all, uh, does that connect uh, does. with you? Yeah, um, and it's, um, I don't necessarily require an instruction manual, which, th which doesn't make me... I was me just going to get to that. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, see, this is why Myers-Briggs rules, because that was going to be my next really? thing. Yes. Right. Well, you know, Go I, ahead. Which, which doesn't mean I'm necessarily proficient in, you know, whether it's you know, refurbishing an old motorcycle or something like that, or building a chicken coop, which we can see right out the, the yeah, door. Yeah, very, and, um, and exactly right, too. I, well, I, I don't require plans, which means, right. to me, uh, and, you know, the end result is, is what resembles a chicken coop. It looks, acts, and sounds like a chicken coop, or yeah, a motorcycle, absolutely. for example, you know. And it might, you know, on, on paper, it might not, all the, all the parts might not be there, but it works. And yeah, that's um, and, and that's great because you just sort of. I prefer not having instructions. Yes, <laughs> I mean that's what I was going to say is that ISTPs are sort of notorious for like just being able to put things together out of the box without looking at instructions. You know, if they see something broken without knowing it exactly, they can sort of fumble and bumble with it and fix it, things right. like that. Which again, I'm not proficient at right. building motorcycles, but I can. The I have I have the, the you know the chemistry I know the right. I know the the process to, for the most part. without a design you don't need right. to look at a design right. and put it together you can just put it together sure. just like you put together the chicken coop and any other uh, device I'm sure mm -hmm. you know the house. Plus, the house right <laughs> that's that's right Mike is working on his own house here and um, you know putting in floors and putting in beams and there's no designs <laughs> mm -hmm. you know there's no you know architecture you know thing blew those blue sheets anywhere oh, you're none. just you know, doing it from your ability to do it. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. I couldn't do it. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It needs to be done. <laughs> yes, <laughs> by someone else <laughs> other than myself because I can't yeah. get there. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about... Um, now, you're, like, I said this just um, before we started, that you're part of other um, a, a temperament where you share values with three other types that are okay. both sensing perceivers. And so so we would refer to them as SPs. But I think you're going to find this fascinating is that um, their overall name are called artisans. And what they mean by artisans is somebody who, um, is that these are types that are interested in, in developing techniques. You know, they're into technique and really sort of fine tuning a technique with either tools or some kind of instrument or some kind of um, it, it can even be sports, you know, that they're sort of wanting to be virtuosos. So the craft exists, but yes. I'm perfect, or not necessarily perfecting the craft, but learning to, to do the best for me at the yes. craft. Yes, and, and ideally being a master craftsman in okay. a sense of, or at least being your own master craftsman, you know, mm -hmm. to be the best you can be. Sure. So, um, I've, so how does that connect? Well, uh, I remember a discussion we had uh, in class, actually, because I come from your one-on-one Yes, he does. Yes, indeed. Um, so I remember a discussion we had. It's why did I choose to, to be a musician or why did I play guitar? And it wasn't necessarily to play for anyone. It was to see what I could do. It was to yeah. see. It was sort of, you know, you know, I look at a guitar and I see, you know, the song doesn't exist or the, the, the music doesn't exist within the guitar. It exists in the connection between me and the guitar. And whatever happens, it... It, whatever you know, whatever anyone else thinks of that is it, it's fine with me. It doesn't really matter. It just matters that I can yeah. kind of. Yeah, that's that. that's perfect. That really shows that you are um, an artist, and you know you have this temperament. You know you're okay. connected to it. That's perfect. Um, all right, so let me talk about some values and orientations of this temperament, and you can react to sure, them. Sure. Um, one. <laughs> okay. So one, we were talking about this before too. So let's get this out. Is that. Um, um, SPs, you know, artisans are very much focused in the here and now. They're present people. Mm -hmm. They're not stuck in the past, and they're not necessarily way into the future. They're right in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, what do you, uh, where do you see that in your life, and when does it come up? Um, thinking, well, um, thinking about the future is interesting and fun, um, albeit, you know, not largely useless to me. But you know, it's, <laughs> you know, it, you know, it's fun. Daydreaming is fun. Um, but I, you know, it's the not. I feel like I'm just playing off of you, but you're you're correct in the way that I assess things. It needs, you know, what needs to be done today. Let's worry about tomorrow, tomorrow, and that that sort of thing is it rings true with me. That's what I do. That's how I go about things. It's, you know, clear and present now, 
get it done, move mm -hmm. on. You know, and what what's next? It's not. It's not a. It's not a. I don't look far into the future. I look just enough to know how I'm gonna, how, I'm, how I'm affecting it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. All right. Um. All right. So let me give another one. Um. Another one is uh wanting to make an impact. Uh, so art. So people of your type and your temperament who are like say like artists like painters or you know art of that kind. Um, like to make art that has a particular impact on the viewer. Either it could be positive, it could be negative. Um, it's not necessarily trying to send a message. It could be a message, but the main goal is to sort of, you know, hit them with something. Um, do you find that in any of the things you did as a guitar player, just in life or anything? The the, the choice of music that I, you know, what you know, when I toured, I was in a you know a metal band and it was an abrasive hard. I wanted to push the envelope, you know, I always kind of, and it, I pushed the envelope, you know, to see what I could do, but it was, the the reactions, that's a sort of a secondary thing to me. It's not necessarily, it's not the primary, it's entertainment. Seeing, uh, seeing negative or positive reactions as a result of what I do is, is a fun secondary sort of uh, reason to do it, but it's not the primary thing. Um, it, it is, so yeah, I, I I would say that, that that plays a small role in why I chose what I chose, why mm. I did what I did. Yeah. Well, tell them the name of your band because that I think. Well, is, the, uh... <laughs> there there were a few. Um, the the band that I toured in was called the Miles Between. After post Miles Between era, that was the the band that I was signed in for a little while. Um, post Miles Between, I had a project that we did a little New England tour with, uh, played some music and all that sort of stuff. It was called Holding Steady, the Heartbeat of Hell. Yeah. So, um, in it wasn't necessarily you know heaven and hell. It was just the condition that we are living in currently. It was sort of like a you know the word hell is kind of shocking for a lot of people, and it was like felt like it brought that attention. And then you kind of you know if you you choose your own level of involvement. If you were interested in the band, you could you could discover the message, and there was a pretty interesting message behind the band. So oh. check it out. All right. <laughs> um, another uh, value that's uh, that artisans are known to have, because we haven't talked about this one yet, is uh, generosity. That um, artisans aren't necessarily, they're not necessarily people who hold things back from others, you know, especially in any kind of friend or family or, you know, kind of relationship situation. Uh, they're known to be very giving, not necessarily expecting anything back, you know. Do you find that in your life or for yourself? To, to be honest, with certain, with respect to th certain things, sure. Um, that's a tough one. Um, hmm. Well, not generous to the point where it's a fault. Yeah, I mean, but I, you're yeah. not keeping score. With, with, with you, that is, that's a you know, yes, not keeping score. I don't, exp yeah, sure, that makes sense. Um, more so with specific people, right? Than you know, loved ones. There's no, you know, uh, what have you done for me lately? Well, at, okay, at all, right. That's know, where I'm um, getting at. Um, because that's not the case in all families, I can tell you. No, no, my, wasn't in mine. With with my family, um, it's all I would prefer that it's all give. It's what I I would love to help my parents as much as possible. Help my I have a younger sister as well, and I I want to give as much as I can. I don't re require anything from them at all. You know, there's no. It's a it's bonus stuff, but I don't need it. You know what I mean? It's it's fine. I I, I love them for them, and I want to give them as much of me as I can. In, as far as I know, in a, I want to assist them in, in any way that I can, you know, whether whatever the case. So, yeah, I would say that that for that respect, in that respect, it, it rings true. So, all right, we got about a minute left. Um, is there anything um, you want to share about yourself, or anything um, you think is relevant to anything we've talked about? Well, um, it's all been very interesting. I thought that we prior to this video we had a very nice conversation. I thought, and I. Um, Glad to see that we brought some of that back into this. I feel like uh, that would have been a nice little candid video. I think yep. you know. Um, I live with. Uh, I, I own a home with the same personality type as you, my, yes. my lady friend. So yeah. um, learned a lot, and this uh, this whole personality profiling thing is new to me. Um, you've inspired me to look more into it. I'm a fan of the the Facebook page and things like that, and I loosely follow it. I'm going to follow it more in yeah. intently moving forward. I think because it's interesting and. Um, Without knowing us at all, really, um, you more or less hit the nail on the head, and just based on four letters, <laughs> you, yeah, you know? and uh, and the way we work um, together, you know, you got it, we we got it. So, 
All right. <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right. Well, um, thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate no that. Um, and uh, don't forget, follow us on Twitter and Tumblr and come join the fun on the Facebook forum for NF Geeks. And uh, I always end it with this, and that is, you know, NF Geeks, it's happening. So, right? Isn't it happening? Currently. Yes, it is happening. So come join the fun. <laughs>